From this lecture, we will start signals and systems. And in the lecture series of the signals and systems, we will try to cover all the topics related to the signals and systems. So let's get started. In today's lecture, we will see a basic introduction about signals. So what is a signal? A signal can be defined as a function of one or more than one independent variables such as ft which is a function of one variable t or f t1 t2 t3 as a function of more than one variable so the signal itself here is a dependent variable varying with respect to the independent variable t a signal must carry information and vary with respect to an independent variable and it must be a physical quantity that's why a signal can be defined as any physical phenomenon that carries information and varies with respect to time, space or any other independent variables. Some examples of the independent variables are time, space, pressure, temperature, frequency, etc. So a signal varying with time carries the information with respect to the independent variable time. Some examples of the signals are speech signal, heart rate, blood pressure and radio signal. Speech is a signal because it varies with respect to time and carries information related to communication. And also heart rate is a signal because it varies with respect to the time and also gives the information about the number of times heart pumps in one unit of time. As I have said earlier, a signal can depend on one or more than one independent variable. And based on this dependence, the signals are of two types. Signals which depend on one independent variable is known as single variable signal or one dimensional signal. Signal which depends on more than one variables is known as multivariable signal or multidimensional signal. A signal which depends on a single variable or one dimensional signal can be represented as f of t or p of x. Examples of these types of signals are speech signal and heart rate. A signal which depends on more than one variable is known as multidimensional signal. It can be represented as f of t1, t2 or p of x1, x2. Example of a two-dimensional signal is a monochromatic picture which is represented in two dimension. Example of a three-dimensional signal is a motion picture in black and white TV. A black and white image is a two-dimensional image so a motion picture in black and white TV is created when two-dimensional image is moved over the third dimension time. An example of a four-dimensional signal is 3D animated movies. Here in this lecture series we will have the discussion on the signal which depends on a single variable. More specifically the signals depending on the variable time. Like the variables depending upon the generation of the signal they can be classified into single channel signal or multi channel signal. As the name suggests, the single channel signal is a signal where signal is generated from a single source. Example of this type of signal is room temperature with respect to time and audio signal from one speaker. And if the signal is generated from multiple source, then the signal is called multi-channel signal. Example of the multi-channel signal is audio signal from more than one speaker and ECG and EEG signals are multi-dimensional signals as they are taken from a number of different places in the human body. The maximum number of electrodes required in obtaining an ECG signal is 12. That's why it is a 12 channel signal. That's all for this lecture. Let me ask some questions regarding this lecture. Why monochromatic picture is an example of two dimensional signal? And what are the four dimensions in the 3D animated movies? And why EEG signal is a multi channel signal? If you know the answers, then post it in the comment section. If you have any doubts regarding this lecture, then you may ask it in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.